careful to say you, you're not super interested in the kind of stuff about MVP, DPOY, individual awards. Uh, but your new coach, JJ Redding, did bring up that they, he, he has those uh, thoughts about what your season could bring. Uh, coming off the success of Team USA, coming off your last two seasons uh, individually as a team. What is your mindset uh, coming into play for JJ alongside the rest of the guys and, and as you pursue a uh, prime season for yourself? Um, I can tell you to do what I've been doing. Uh, Obviously, the, the main focus is staying, focus staying on the floor. Uh, the rest, as far as individual accolades and things like that, I just like to take care of myself. I don't stress too much uh, over that. It's not like I'm in consideration for things anyway. I don't know how, but um, I don't let that bother me. I just go out there and play basketball and uh, focus on our team wins. And, uh, if we're able to uh, get enough of those and like, play very well at a high level as a, as a unit, Pretty sure that's not the that's not my focus. Like you said, look at our bonus. How are you feeling after your summer? Uh, a little bit of a different thing from the second week. Um, you know this roster looks basically the same as last year. What, what needs to change for the result? With this roster? Um, I feel good. Uh, I feel great all summer. Obviously, in the Olympics. Um, but as far as the roster question, I uh, just help, to be honest. I mean, Gabe missed a big part of last season. Mando missed a huge part of last season. Um, so I think help is just, you know, Christian Seawood, you know, this last season, um, of course, last season uh, with his injury. So I think just help. Um, you know, I think you know, we did a good job, obviously. Even in the playoffs, we just ran to finish games, but, you know, having someone like Keith Laird that we, that we needed down the stretch, uh, not being the best person to help us. So I think uh, that would be the biggest thing for us uh, to really get a, a great feel of uh, what we can do as a, with this team uh, and see what we can be. Hey, JJ's talking about using the like that, so taking help around the elbows and top of the other. What, what have those conversations been like with his vision for your offensive role? How comfortable are you stepping out and kind of that role? Yeah, um, I mean, I've always been comfortable in that role. You know, every team that I've played on, I've gone back to the water. You know, I've always caught the ball in the middle of the floor, just kind of directing the offense and things like that. So uh, that would be nothing new. Uh, but as far as conversations, we had a couple, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, this summer, things like that, but uh, I'm pretty sure our conversation, conversation will be a little bit more, you know, in depth as the season has now started. Uh, you know, we've been able to be on the floor, kind of go over things and you know, talking, uh, communicating about how we want things to work, what I like, what I don't like, what he likes, you know, what, what he envisions, um, you know, and kind of build around that, especially with the roster that we have. So, um, but I'm very comfortable uh, with having the ball and uh, playmaker for making money for it. I think I'm just rounding some credit. I think I'm just rounding some credit. The coaching staff has been taking care of the entire. What stuck out to you about JJ? What did you know about him as a competitor? What did you learn about him in the past 12 months? A very close relationship. Um, I mean, you know, JJ played the game. Uh, he was able to. Uh, I didn't have, honestly, I didn't have many conversations with JJ actually. I uh, was more just so with Rob, but, um, you know, Rob was talking about his things about JJ, and, you know, it was obviously it was, um, I was giving my input on how I felt. Obviously, it was, it was different um, by him being a first time coach and head coach, so um, that's a little different, but the, <clears throat> the principles that he was, and the scheme that he you know, wanted to bring into um, my organization. Kind of stood out to me and I kind of just relate that to Rob and, uh, you know, let Rob kind of do his job from there. Yeah, Jim, uh, Kick and I, good to see you again. How important is old patience? Because you have a lot of variables this year. So, how important is patience in getting everything the way you can have? Uh, patience is key. I mean, you know, we're not going to rush anything. The good thing is we do have a lot of same players back from last year. They kind of do it, so we're able to kind of 
feed you off some things. Um, but then we also have a new coaching staff, you know, which takes time, you know, to get adjusted to that, you know, the coaches to get adjusted to us. Um, but we we focus on the details coming in and getting better each and every day, each practice, each shoot around, each preseason game. Um, right now, and you know, let the rest not take care of itself. But um, you know, we're not trying to skip any steps. Maybe you guys were playing the team the last couple of years, and the West is crowded, and in many ways, some would say it got even better in, in the off season. How do you kind of view your place in things, and how do you kind of focus on the necessary steps you mentioned, attention to detail, without you know, kind of getting lost in the big picture? Yeah, um, the West is tough. Uh, the West has always been tough, you know, uh, you know, one through fifteen. So. For us, we can't, uh, like I said, get too excited for a win, too low for a loss. You know, we have to come in and, you know, stay even killed. Um, like I said, that continuity helps, you know, building off last year with the team that we had. But I think if we're healthy and be able to stay healthy throughout the entire season, um, we can be a top team in the West. Um, you know, the stuff that we're able to do on both things on the floor, and then you add in Gabe and Mando and Seaford. I don't think that helps, but uh, you know, if, we, if we get hit by Andrew Cody again, then it's going to be tough. Hey, um, I mean, it was fun. It was good. Uh, me and Brian already had a close relationship, so um, it's probably the first summer uh, since, I've probably, since I've been here that we've been together all summer. Actually, he's always doing this thing at the farm. We got families in our own lives, and you know, been in champ around each other for six, seven months out of a year already. You know, and kind of needs a break you know, for sure. But um, it was fun to play basketball again. Uh, you know, for the season that we had, honestly, it was it was tough just because you know, we felt like we should have won the first series. Um, but to be able to be back on the floor, play with Ron and all the other guys that you know they were. Played with the Pringles that have made it fun summer. Katie, you know, just touching on the as far as going to be in this game. What's it been like seeing that from here today? And as they kind of start this historic journey today? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome. Um, it's historic, it's, it's powerful. Um, I mean, Brian was locked with a box of box. So every time I walk in, I see it. It's still so real to me that he, you know, is on the same team. As his dad, and uh, I get to be a part of it. And just, you know, each and every practice, each game, uh, each moment that they have um, for at least his first year. So uh, I can't wait till they step on the floor together and uh, officially make history. But uh, it's been super dope to watch it. As accomplished as you've been as a player defensively, what parts of that game do you think you don't get enough appreciation for? All of it. Did the Olympic experience give you something new in terms of your perspective and relationship with the game of basketball? Never took it of being a basketball for granted or anything, but being in a situation like that, obviously you don't want to take that for granted. Um, I think there's only 12 guys that get selected to play, you know, for the USA Basketball uh, and Olympics, and that's every four years. So um, the fact that I was able to do it twice um, from on the Olympic stage, you know, I never take that granted. Being, you know, given the chance to play with LeBron, KD, stuff. Um, I'll say they're the older guys. Um, and they're all on their way out, they're on their way out, but they're headed that way. Um, who knows if they play in the you know, who knows if they retire before, like, you just don't know. So um, I think the appreciation of just playing, you know, the, the greatness uh, of those guys, you know, and that, you know, the rest of the guys on the team as well, um, we've got to appreciate that each and every day. Katie, the load that you carry defensively is as big as anybody in the NBA, but you're also expected to do a lot on offense. Where can you use the most help for the team this year, defensively, inside, outside? Like, where are the 